Well, this is Daniel Daly. This is Noah Hyde's sermon. Keeping accurate records too. Keeping accurate records too. Okay. Now let's say young Johnny is 15 years old. And he's found a chronicle from his grandfather, Jack, about his lovely adventures all through Africa and hunting the African lion and meeting the tribesmen and betting some beautiful African women. And Grandpa Jack had this splendid tale of all his accomplishments and all his conquests and all his victories. And Jonah was truly inspired. And then his father, Jim, took him aside and said, it's a load of baloney. He was just having a lot, just having a go with that story. The record wasn't accurate. And it was portrayed as being accurate in this particular situation. What it is that is in life, sometimes in our memoirs, as it were, we can colour details and fudge details try to present things in a certain light which is not really the accurate light. Not really the truth. Perhaps we're ashamed of how bad we were at times or trying to colour up like we do with resumes our life to say something that is not really true. That's not good. In the end it's better that people perceive you as you really are because then they'll be able to relate to you more accurately as you really are. You won't get praise when it's not deserved. And you won't get mockery when it's not deserved if you've been saying that I was hardly good at this, hardly good at that, hardly good at that. You know, you know being humble on purpose, deliberately too humble, self-deprecating just to be humble. That's not really good either. Boastful is not good, and deli deliberate false humility is not really good either. Tell the truth. Your life chronicle, your life memoirs, your life story, your life tale, your autobiography needs to be accurate and needs to be true. The, the amount of detail you supply, well that really is ultimately up to you. If you don't want to talk about something, you don't have to. It's your life. You can disclose what you will. But if you're going to disclose information in a memoir of your life, it should be accurate so people know who you really are. A lot of people say, I don't care, I want to be remembered in glory. They'll find out in time. Either this life or the next life, they'll find out if you are a faker. That all this false glory, this false attribution of your name, not true. It's not worth it. The truth is worth it. The truth is the way to go. In telling your life story, or in telling someone else's life story, being a historian, a record keeper, a chronicler of other events throughout history, you want a reputation of being accurate and true in what you're saying in your chronicle. You want to have a, a good name, a good reputation with the public for, for telling accurate information because it's then you get the, the uh, name of being reliable and true and faithful an accurate recorder of information people who, who tell porkies, who tell lies who colour things up to suit themselves they get found out in time and often there's legal troubles and you can get sued and things like that and um, you just lose your, your good name for being an honest communicator of the details. Factual record keeping in your life stories, in biographies and autobiographies and histories and things like that, it's really the only sound thing to do. And in terms of a religious diary, which I'm sort of undertaking within the Rainbow Bible, it has to be accurate, and I concentrate on making sure my details are accurate so that people can properly understand a life and have correct guidance for what they draw from that for themselves without being caught up 
in fantasies of Grandpa Jack and his new punk.